Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Ned's Tech Bits, and today I want to have a look at this interesting little calculator. The Holy Bible, the King James Bible. The unit's model number is KJB1840, which I'm pretty sure uh, is the version of the King James Bible that uh, is loaded onto this unit. Now this thing takes four AAA batteries and Man, there's something to be said about this whole kind of technology that's not attached to a smartphone that actually has physical keyboards. That LED screen. You can do a lot with this thing. Kind of interesting. You can search for stuff. The first thing I used to search for was unicorns. Because the early version... The early version of the King's James Bible actually had unicorns in, in it. Which is really funny because once I got in trouble in my Christian school for bringing in a picture of a unicorn to give to this chick I liked. And unicorns represent... What was it? Unicorns represent... What was it? What was it? Rebellion. Unicorns represent rebellion and I got hauled into the principal's office for that. Meanwhile, none of these things actually mention uh, rebellion. And a lot of people later trans... Or a lot of people truly believe that it was depicting the way an ox was drawn back in the day in a very 2D way. So in newer versions of the King James Bible, uh, unicorns aren't in it. Which is interesting because this unit seems to have come from around the year 2000, where there was a much more updated version of the King James Bible, not the 1840 version. But this does seem to be the version of the Bible that is on this unit, a very old version. Maybe they wanted to get one that was out of copyright protection, but I was under the understanding that every King James Bible was under the uh, copyright protection of the monarch, of uh, our monarch. But yeah, lots of things you can do here. It says that you can, oh, where is it now, play the voice, but yet only particular scriptures actually have that voice. Only particular scriptures. Let's see, I'm pretty sure, oh wait, um, more. Let's see, how do I go back? Come on, yeah, there's definitely lots of cool things that you can do with the sucker. They're asking five, I got it for less than that. Here we go, menu. I got it for two fitty, two fitty. Old Testament, Genesis, chapter one, here we go. Chapter one, one, we got some audio. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. So yeah, I can't di dictate everything. I'm pretty sure that was one of the big selling features, which is kind of sneaky. Kind of sneaky. Mm-hmm. But definitely the kind of thing that any grandpa who is into into the Bible would be interested in. And uh, I would take this apart now, but it turns out this thing goes for about 35 bucks online. So eBay, here I come. What's of what's worthy of note? Noteworthy is you can insert bookmarks in here or bookman cards in there, and uh, you can turn your Bible into something else. So pretty cool. I love this kind of technology that comes from around the 90s where there's no backlit screen but you actually get physical buttons. Man, I never thought I'd miss physical buttons as much as I do. Let me feel your buttons, baby. But pretty cool stuff. Good yard sale finder for 250 That's it for me, folks. Catch you later. Have a good one.